Mm, sure. Right, so uh, we're going to be doing our next match in the British Rules Tournament. And actually, that match is actually fun, to be honest, because I'm enjoying myself. And, yeah, having fun doing wrestling is what we all want, after all. And it wasn't fun in the WWE, let's be honest. Unless you're the WWE champion, it's not fun. Uh, skip my entrance, because you guys know my entrance quite intimately. I want to see who my opponent is. Wow, he's a big bloke. Wow, oh, this guy is massive. Good lord, this guy is huge. Like, I'm fighting a... Another version of Big E. Hi. I hope he hits as hard as he looks. Trent Shaw. Oh, dude, your legs are like yellow. Seems you had trouble in your first match, unlike me. Because I am fresh, as you guys can see. Oh, he's already yellow. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be light work. It's gonna be easy. This is gonna be insanely easy. Ah. Okay. Psych. Wow, a big man that is athletic. That is insane. That is insane. I've never seen a guy that huge be that athletic. What is up, Trent Show? Trent Show, my guy, what is up? Honestly, reverse Trent. Yikes. No, seriously, tell me how many big guys you know that can do that. Psych. Psych. Not bad, Trent. Not bad. Trent. Let's see you kick out of this. Not bad. Okay, Trent. Okay, you got up before I could hit my finisher. That's rude, Trent. Very rude. Oh, Trent. Trent, you kicked out. Proud of you. Wow, Trent, you're not one to quit that easily, are you? Hmm. Alright. No worries. Oh no, you reversed it. God damn it. Not gonna give you a fall, Trent. Really? Gentleman did not reverse. Oh god, there were two reversal points and I could not get to one. That sucks. I had my hand on the rope. Good lord, I had my hands on the rope. You guys saw that, right? I had my hands on the rope. And the ref decided 
not to break it. I had my hand on the rope and the ref decided not to break it. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Just have to prevent Trent from getting another fall because the ref is blind. Because the ref is apparently blind for some reason. Okay. Seems like I can't do anything. The ref is blind. The ref is trying to rob us. The ref is trying to rob us. Try to rob us, and I cannot believe it. No, actually, she already did because she did not check to see if I had my hand on the rope. All right, it's one one. Went. Oh, really, ref? Rope breaks are allowed. I thought they weren't because. You literally did not see me hold the rope in a pin attempt, huh? RF. This line has refs. Man, I can't believe the ref really, really did that. And it's on film. You guys saw it. It's on film. That match was fixed for me to lose and not get to the finals and we still fought against the odds to make the finals. Because that's because we have the heart of a champion. And that never goes out of style. Anyway. Uh the blatant cheating in our British rules pub event. It's not even worth money or anything. There's no prize, but apparently there's some blatant cheating. But anyway. Uh dude, why are you in your outfit? Another win! Way to go! Thanks, but why are you wearing your old wrestling attire? You know that? Let me guess. The fans at the bar wanted pictures with you in it. No, but it's not a bad idea. Could make some extra bread. Anyway, it turns out the bloke you were supposed to face got hurt in his last match and can't compete in the finals. So, yours truly volunteered to fill in. Oh, I'm gonna destroy you. Well, we couldn't send the fans home without a tournament winner now, could we? Besides, some of them are my mates now. Jimmy's getting married next month, and he asked me to perform the ceremony. Congrats. So what do you say? You versus me, British rules, made the best, fully rested, slightly buzzed man win. All right. Let's do this. All right, uh, Davish, I'm about to absolutely obliterate you. And there is nothing you can do about it. So uh, this is going to be the final of the tournament uh, for the British Rules matchup, which is going to be nice. And yeah, the hope is that we just absolutely decimate Tavish as quickly as possible. And hopefully the ref this time won't try to fix the match like they did in the last match. Good lord, that match fixing was blatant. And I mean absolutely blatant. I haven't yet seen a Tavish entrance, so let's see how his entrance used to be back in the day. Come on, let's go! Go! Get up!
Not a bad entrance, very basic. Oh great, now I'm the only the yellow legs. Anyway, let's beat Tavish and finish off this British rules tournament. And the hope is that uh, you ref over there are not gonna try to fix this match as well. Okay, that did not work. Okay, so I'm seeing a pattern. My body remains fresh, but my stamina bar does not fill up. Which, okay, makes sense. It's uh, been a long night. I've been fighting back to back to back. So, yeah, it kind of makes sense, to be honest. Don't even know why I was trying to complain. See if they were fixing the match again. I'm so sorry, Tavish. your resiliency you have triggered the trap I had for you Tavish He did not reverse it. All right, we get our first fall. Oh no, psych. Oh no. Come on, light work, light work, extra light work. I am the yellow man. If you guys can see my layer's signature down down the bottom left, it's all yellow. My entire damage meter is just light damage all over oh no i have stunned you tavish please forgive me because i'm gonna have to take you out not the kind of good taking out like somebody is buying you dinner i talk here's your british rules tournament champion me It's a cool matchup though, not gonna lie. It's nice to have an adoring crowd cheering and enjoying. You know, cheering and enjoying you, being happy. At least over here I don't have to go by the lock monitor. And I don't have to wear 
that stupid outfit and i can only do the things that i only like like you know actual wrestling now the only thing that bothers me is there is no championship because it feels like i'm just fighting for charity and i don't do that i'm not saying that it's bad to give out to charity but you know if you're gonna be doing something to be the very best and there is no barometer of measurement then what's the point it's wasted effort that's what i'm trying to uh pontificate to you guys in so many words and that part story has been completed so uh social media now uh, just won a grueling tournament in the uk getting back on track yep nice uh he might have lost a name but he gained a title sled is a new intercontinental champion yeah always as a follower Okay, that's not nice and raise your hand if you feel incredibly blessed to be in the wwe okay dominic okay there we have a side story from dominic mysterio over there uh we do not have enough to upgrade and we have drew mcintyre we have tom also in the airport for some reason uh let me check the story progress just to make sure we are not at uh no the epic tournament is a main story Stealing the show. If you see anything written stealing the show, that is the main one. So, uh, yeah, let's do the Apex tournament from Chosen, shall we? Chosen? What are you doing here? The VIP range was closed. Broken pipe or something. I can't believe I have to wait down here with uh, everyone. <laughs> Sorry to hear about your lounge issue, but I meant what are you doing here at the airport? Oh. I've been on the road promoting Pro Wrestling Japan's upcoming Apex Tournament. It's going to be the biggest one ever. For the first time, it's going to include WWE superstars who previously competed in Japan. And me, of course. Interesting. You know, I'm on a bit of a comeback tour myself, and I'm a former WWE superstar who previously competed in Japan. Are there any spots left in the tournament? You're still wrestling? <laughs> I thought you walked here at the airport now. I was going to see if you could get that pipe fixed for me. You look like a prama. Hmm. No, I'm wrestling. And I'd love to get in the tournament if you can pull some strings. Hmm. There is one spot left. I can get you in a qualifying match if you do something for me first. <sighs> this better not be about the broken pipe. I know that. I need you to say Chosen is the greatest wrestler in the world. Even better than the so-called Lock. Do that? And you would have the last spot in the Apex tournament. Yeah, sure. I'm not the lock at all. So my maybe. desire to be in this tournament slightly outweighs my pride and dignity. I'll do it. Great. Whenever you're ready. <sighs> Chosen is the greatest wrestler in the world. He is better than I ever was or ever will be. Say something else. And act like you mean it. Every wrestler on the planet should retire immediately because no one will ever compare to Chosen. We good now. Almost. Explain what would happen if you face Chosen in the Apex tournament. You know, just for my own self-confidence. <sighs> okay. If I'm unlucky enough to face Chosen, he will easily defeat me in mere seconds. Again, Chosen is the best. Okay, I'm done. Yep. Great. My social account's been on fire lately. But this is going to put it over the top. My fans, the chosen ones, are going to love hearing you say all that. What do you mean? Oh, that wasn't just for my self-confidence. I recorded what you said on my phone so I could post it. The entire world needs to hear you say chosen is the greatest. <sighs> You're actually the worst. Sorry, I already stopped recording. Can't take back what you said. Good luck in the qualifying match. Don't blow it. Alright, so Apex Tournament will get the Japan Dome, the Japan Hall, and men's Shinsuke jacket. So, it's about time that we go and deal with this, shall we? Uh, I do not know how this will go, but you know, we're gonna deal with this uh, tournament, and then once you're done with this tournament, 
uh we'll see the next stories that are available of course we will be doing the side stories as well so that you can get a lot of upgrade stats as well to help us um upgrade our character so uh no need to watch my entrance you guys have watched my entrance a couple of times I have no idea who this is. What is? I don't even care. El Ordinario. Yeah. We need to beat El Ordinario in order to qualify for the tournament in Japan. Should be easy enough. Yikes. What is up, El Ordinario? There is nothing you can do to beat me. Even if the ref decides to rig the match in your favor, you ain't gonna beat me. So we are currently taking part in this matchup at Los Angeles Wrestling. Evan. Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. It was not my intention to make you bleed. I just wanna take a flight to Japan and win a tournament, or if I'm being honest. Making you bleed is not my main objective. Nicely done. Dude, why do you keep evading my springboards? Stop it. Okay. Stop it. Oh no. Okay. Yikes. Okay. Psych. Really? Yeah, sure. Just keep throwing me to the side. Nice. Nicely done. We are making good progress on the El Ordinario. That's, you know, that's a plus at the very least. But we need to take him out like soon. Don't want this dragging. We have a flight to Japan. Oh god. I have a flight to catch to Japan and a tournament to win over there. And then I have a storyline to do with Dominic so that I can beat him. I was gonna lose it if you were to reverse that again. Right, El Ordinario. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, you did not reverse it. I'm so sorry, guy. I'm so sorry. I need you to tap out Ordinario. I need you to tap out. You just tap out, please. Thank you. There we go. Alright. We are done. We qualified. It's time to take our, our flight from LA to Japan. Should be a very long flight at that. Alright, we are done. Let's take our flight from Japan 
no from LA to Japan I had my locations mixed up a bit there the World wrestling Japan is finally here how are you feeling a bit jet lagged from the flight but I'm sure once the bell rings the adrenaline will take over and I'll be fine why is this tournament so important to you I want to stick it the to the best in the world are here including WWE so I don't want to just prove I belong I want to stick it to my former employer by beating their so-called superstars and winning the whole damn thing got it fact, so fact, fact. this is the part where you explain the format of the tournament you really need to start doing your research the tournament's participants are split into two groups. Each group's wrestlers face off in round-robin singles matches. Wins are worth two points, draws one, and losses, zero. The winners of the two groups face each other at the Japan Dome to determine the tournament champion. And that's a big deal? Oh, yeah. Yes. I've competed there a handful of times earlier in my career, but only in opening matches. The final of the Apex Tournament will be the main event at the Dome. So, yeah, I'd say that's a big deal. A very big deal. So uh, that's what we shall be doing in this next segment of the story because we are going to be competing in the Pro Wrestling Japan circuit and uh, this tournament is we are going to try and win it completely. So these are the round robins for the Pro Wrestling Japan. Uh, you guys know about my entrance, you do not need to watch it. I will leave it on when it's a significant match, like the final of the tournament, but other than that, I don't really see the need to... Uh, yo, who's my opponent? Somebody Pierce, I don't know. Okay. Uh, somebody Pierce. Aragon J. Pierce. Let's do this. When you're tall. Nope. So you need to earn the win either by pinfall or submission. I can see Paragon JPS has the resiliency attribute. So uh, it's going to be paramount that we uh, force him into a corner so that he can use that uh, resiliency attribute as quickly as possible. Then we can take him out quite comfortably, preferably by submission. Oh no. Psych. Okay. Mr. Paragon JPS. Tall ass dude. Yikes. I'm not liking how this is going. Dude has already obliterated the ref. Man, the ref is quick to get up. I would have wanted to go for a steel chair or something. Oh, this ref is dirty. Paragon. Really? Wait, what's that supposed to be? Okay. Nope. Why is this a thing? I never, I never thought for one second that winning the tournament was gonna be easy. So, if this is my first match in the tournament, then I say bring it on. 
Uh, I'm gonna want to have two finishes against this guy. I think it's paramount at this stage. Alright, he's a tough boy. Oh, he reversed it. God damn it. No, dude, you don't do that. Oh, God. Psych! Absolutely reversed his finisher. Dude, don't think I'm gonna let you survive because you decided to roll out. It doesn't mean you're safe from me. Oh lord, I reversed it again. Let me go. I just want you to use your resiliency. That's all I want. I don't need anything else from your Paramount JPS. Just get rid of your resiliency and I'll be golden. Now use it over here, please, if you don't mind. There we go. Right now we just have to complete this matchup and we are Gucci. Oh, you do not reverse it for uh, my... I am tired of saying your full name, man. Oh, man, and you are done. And you are done. Alright, we get our first win in the tournament, which gives us a cool two points. Gotta love it. We're definitely on the come up once more. Alright, so what else do we have in store for us? Or let's see what else the tournament has in store for us, is what I meant to say. But yeah, it's gonna be fun to see what the tournament has in store for us. Oh, hi, Finn. Alright. What's up, Chosen? I saw you won your first match too. Hmm. <laughs> Obviously. But I'm not here to talk about the tournament. I have some feedback on the video you did for me. You mean the video you recorded without my knowledge where you tricked me into saying all those lies about you? Yes, that's the one. After listening back to it, your performance was lackluster and uninspiring. I didn't believe anything you were saying. Yeah, neither did I. That's because I didn't believe it either. You're not better than me. And if I get the chance to face you, I'll prove that. <laughs> sure. I mean, don't get me wrong. The video still put up big numbers. After the edit, of course. <laughs> I'm gonna do my talking in the ring. do my talking in the ring. So you can have your chosen ones and your stupid social media posts, which I get the feeling you care more about than actual wrestling. No, I care about both. I'm going to win the tournament, build my following even bigger, and then conquer the wrestling world. That's my goal too, minus the lame social media content. But I've seen your feed. That is lame. Anyway. Only one of us can get to the top. And Locke already had his chance. It's my time now. <laughs> we'll see. Alright, let's talk to Tavish. See what he has for us. You're off to a good start so far. It's going to be a tough few weeks to get to the end of this tournament and come out on top. Any advice on how to survive? You showed you could tough it out in the British Rules Tournament. So, do more of that? Thanks, I guess. 
There is one way you could get some extra rest, but it would go against tradition. Typically, you participate in tag matches on tournament off nights, but you could skip them. So, you want to earn the respect of the Japanese fans and show them you have fighting spirit? Or tell PWJ and the fans to shove it and rest up. I thought gonna on a tradition. I'm not taking any shortcuts, and I'm certainly not going to risk disrespecting the Japanese fans. So I'll honor tradition and do the tag matches. Good call. I wouldn't have wanted to be seen with you if you chose the other option. Alright, so it seems like we're gonna be doing some tag matches in between the tournament, so so we're gonna be facing Tazawa Akira in the next group A round robin match. But first we're gonna team up against King Ricochet and Finn Bal in the next Wow, oh, okay. So we shall be facing uh, Ricochet and Finn Bala in a tag match with uh what's his face? Uh Ar Arazio as our tag team partner. So uh, I'm gonna skip this and my end. I'm gonna skip everybody and everybody's entrance. To be honest. Alright, you guys know the plan. Uh, isolate and dominate. It's always been the plan. You isolate and you dominate. You isolate and you dominate. How do you even reverse that move though? Kinda wanna win all this, but this is what I mean. Okay, sure. Bring in Finn Bala Ricochet. It is whatever. Psych. Come to pro wrestling Japan. Come on, Finn. We don't need to be embarrassing on a global scale now, do we? No, we don't want that. We don't want that. Alright, Ricochet, I'm gonna take you out. No, because I can. Okay, Phil, you decided to wake up before I could hit my finisher on you. That is not nice. Where's the etiquette? I guess there is no etiquette with you, Finn. Good lord. That's my move. Psych. Ooh, what a move. No, Finn, I am not letting you go and get a tag. Oh no, you reversed it. Psych. Uh, Tozo, you are not getting in this much. I'm not even gonna lie. This match is gonna be between me, Pin, and what's his face? Ricochet. Psych! Nope. Not letting you get a tag. Prince Finn Bala, Demon Finn Bala, whatever version of Finn Bala you are. Oh no! Wait! <laughs> Bye! So Finn, shall we proceed? 
No, Effin. Come on, get back in the ring. Oh, it's a kick. Hi. Let's make this two super kicks for the culture. Hi. Oh, he actually kicked out. That's insane. I cannot believe that he did that, except it was so obvious that he was going to do that because that's what the game does all the damn time. No! Sorry, Finn, but no. Yo, Pozawa, could you? Oh god, this guy kicked the head. Ah, gosh. Ricochet decided that the ref just doesn't deserve to leave or something. Um, Finn, I'm not gonna let you. I'm not gonna let you survive. It's not in my constitution for that to happen. Oh. Well, Finn is basically dead at this point. So all I need to do is get him in the ring. Bye. Oh no. Oh no. Why can't I reverse this though? Good lord, why couldn't I reverse it? Oh no, and he's gonna tag out. God damn it. All that hard work in destroying him. All the hard work I did trying to destroy him. Okay. I did so much hard work trying to destroy him. Psych! My hope is I can do some decent-ish damage to Ricochet to the point he just decides to tag out. Good, tag out. Thank you. Thank you, Ricochet. You have no idea how much this helps me. Like, absolutely no idea how much this helps me. Come on, Finn. I wanted you to stay down. And don't move Steve. How about that? Bye. Night work. Night work. Yes, Akira Tozawa, you contributed. You did good in contributing as well. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise.
Um, I'm not so sure what the next matchup in our tournament is. Hopefully, the tournament final. I'll be happy about that. Yes. All right. So apparently, I will now receive a boost in my matches because I now have the fighting spirit. Apparently, it's not a made-up thing. It is, but you know, it is whatever. It's not that it's not like I mind anyway. So, uh, we're gonna be facing Tozawa in our second matchup. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, keep that. All right, let's get this show on the road, shall we? Use your fighting spirit to fighting spirit boost. To defeat Akira Tozawa. Okay, I see, I see. It's like it's a boost to my uh, signature and finisher meter. Like it's a bit bigger. It's it's already pre-filled before I do anything. Man, Akira, I do not want this to be a walk of victory. So please, you know, try. To make it better. Okay. Nicely <laughs> done. Psych. <laughs> Nicely done, Akira. Except, oh Lord, you are rolling out, aren't you? Yes, because I can. Because I absolutely can. Oh, Akira, that's good night, isn't it? We survived that. Interesting. Oh no. Psych. Well, that was easy. Light up. Alright, let's see what we're gonna be doing in the next matchup, shall we? Hopefully it's the final of the tournament. Now that will be something. If I'm understanding the tournament format correctly, we're nearing the end of the round robin portion, and after a draw against Ricochet, you're now one point behind Finn Balor, headed into your final group match, which happens to be against Balor. That's right. So if I want to win the group to get to the finals and main event, the Japan Dome, I need to beat Finn. A loss or another draw and I'm headed home empty-handed. Well, hopefully you've at least picked up some cool souvenirs while you're here, so it wouldn't be completely empty-handed. The only souvenir I care about is the Apex Tournament Trophy. But to earn that, first I need to beat Finn, which yes. will be no easy task. He's a top WWE superstar, so I'm sure he'll have some extra motivation to not be upstaged by me. If you beat Finn, it's looking like Chosen is a lock. Sorry. It's looking like Chosen's going to win Group B, so you'd face him in the finals. Chosen's really not a threat. I'm not worried about Chosen. He's too concerned about his image and social media content to be a real threat. So if I get by Finn, the trophy's mine. All right, so this matchup is going to be to decide who wins the group, and it's going to be really nice. And I like to be the first. I like to know that I'm the one who's gonna win the group because, well, I'm the main character.
Yeah, your entrance is too long, King. Okay. I'm not even gonna sit through it. Alright, let's do this. Psych. Man, we have no stamina. But we do have the fighting spirit. As you guys can see, I already have my move thief available even before the match starts. So, and the thing is, I believe that's going to be a boost you're gonna have like for the entirety of the rest of the story. Which is pretty cool, in my opinion. It means I already even. I mean, I am already a cheat code, but it means you're gonna be a bigger cheat code going forward as well. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, let's beat Finn Balor and then get, go beat Chosen in the final of the Apex tournament. Psych! Oh no, he reversed it. Well, there goes my fighting spirit. Psych! Oh man, this matchup is gonna be fun. Hmm, maybe I should have waited to get to to get some stand before I tried hitting my signature. But it's fine. Finn, let's do this. Oh yeah, this tournament is gonna be an easy win. No lie. Oh, why why does everyone roll out of the ring? They're one of the weakest moves ever. But as I said, nobody's safe. Just because you roll out of the ring doesn't mean you're safe from me. Never meant that. Never think for a second because you're out of the ring, you're safe from me. I will always find you and decimate you to the umpteenth degree because that's what I do. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh god. Right after I was doing a nice speech, okay, I pressed the reverse button. Come on, game, you gotta be fair to me. Thank you, game, for being fair to me. Oh god, we're at six. Okay, I'm gonna have to get into the ring. And then climb up. So that we can get the count reset to one. There we go. I'm pretty sure the game is not gonna let me win by count out, so that's why I had to reset the count. Oh god, how did you evade that win? Oh no. Yeah, as I said, I'm never gonna roll out such a weak move. Oh god, I could not reverse it. I could not reverse it. Come on! Oh lord, that was risky, especially since I also have the resiliency attribute. Yeah, so that was risky, but you know, I'm saving it for a really sticky situation. Psych! Oh god, that was not a reversal. Psych! But no, that was too risky. Like, even, even for me, who's always confident, that was just too risky. Psych. And there we go. We won our matchup. That's so happy. Alright, so that means that means we now go face chosen in the final of the tournament where we're gonna be ending this wonderful episode. So the episode started off with us doing 2k mockups to make money for rent and now we are winning tournaments. It's gonna be fun.
Alright. Let's see what Chosen has for us. I'm walking on my victory post for after I win the tournament final. Do you think 50 fire emojis is too much? Oh, we didn't we you ever hear the expression don't count your chickens before they hatch? No. Why would I not want to count my chickens? I know right. How else would I know how many I have? That is dumb. I know right. Whatever. Point is, let's see how the match turns out before you start celebrating. Nah. I already know how it's going to turn out. I went undefeated in the group stage while you had to win your last match just to barely clinch your spot in the finals. So, I have way more chickens than you. I guess. You're really not getting that. Also, your old friend Sean Michael sent me a DM that he'll be watching our match. Probably wants me to be his next rock. I guess. But I'll embarrass I don't think Sean will be interested in signing you after I embarrass you in the ring. Now, who's counting their chickens? Now, okay, he uses it right. Touche. Fair play as well. Anyway, uh, seems like this is uh, going to be the conclusion. So the entire wrestling world is watching the finals to see how far you've come. So no pressure, got this, blah, 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 yada, 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 etc, etc. Uh, so this, I'm going to give you guys a preview of the match. I'm gonna go in with my entrance and Chosen is gonna go in with his entrance as well and then the bell is gonna ring and then I'm gonna dominate him and win the Pro Wrestling Japan tournament and the trophy it's that simple alright so the Pro Wrestling Japan tournament at the apex dome is really noisy you can't even hear our entrances so there's really no point to keep the entrances on well chosen you really think that was enough huh as you guys can see my fighting spirit meter is already full so and i'm gonna have this for the rest of the game it's pretty cool soak Last time I destroyed their home favorite. Yeah. You are never okay, you are safe from each other. Psych. Good lord. Psych. Oh man, we are going well, you guys. I'm gonna try and make sure this match ends very soon. Okay. And mine is the only one that got me hurt. Oh, good lord, what a super kick. Okay. Sleeper hold. Nothing too big for me. Light work. Light work. Talk. Light talk. Oh Lord. Oh no. Please. Come on, chosen. Come on, buddy. Wow. 
Oh, he did not kick out. I expected a kick out. Never mind. So yeah, we've won the Pro Wrestling Japan Apex Tournament and yeah. Things are looking up for us. Uh, so we're going to be ending this episode at this point and in the next one we shall start tackling some of the side stories that we have so that we can progress them as well. So yeah, things are looking good for us. I'm not going to lie. And I'm... Um, yeah, we're gonna see where the story takes us. But as for now, uh, winning the Pro Wrestling Japan scene is something that we'll have to suffice just for now anyway. But yeah, I will say that this story has been pretty cool to follow, especially. Uh, the Both my rise stories are pretty good to follow. And as I said, we are gonna be seeing how each and every one of them transpire over the next coming weeks. But as of now, this is where this iteration and this addition of the story uh, comes to a close. So, FX Tournament was completed. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you check our story progress, uh, a hairy situation. Now, this one is the one that Tavish has for us. But as you can see, we've only completed 2 out of 13 uh, stories for uh, this section, a new, new world border. So, in the next episode, we shall do uh, rise or fall lost in translation and the monarchy because i'm pretty sure these two stories are gonna have multiple matches in it and then after that in the next one we shall do these three uh, along with either of these two and then continue tavish's stories but yeah we've done two good stories along with the mock-up and i'm thinking it's a pretty good place to end so uh checking social media chosen is like don't be upset because he lost. After outlasting 29 other superstars, Lay gives you a Royal Rumble winner. Yeah, sure. And then we've won the Apex Tournament. Outlasting the world. Ah, nice. Roman Reigns acknowledges us, but he still sits at the head of the wrestling table. I mean, sure, whatever. Yeah, and other WWE superstars are helping us as well and yeah and everything is going good so our uh, cut films has a side story for us and dominic's side story is all the way down here so yeah we do have a lot of stuff to do but we shall be doing that in the next one upgrade there we go and as usual legend difficulty so gonna stop it here so stay safe be smart be kind tell someone love them today catch you all in the next one bye guys